an honor it is for me to be here. I love exciting news. This is big news. Anytime you see uh, the Simmons uh, Bank logo and the other logos that are up there, that means big news is on the way. And so uh, one of the things I just want to do here, we'll keep it this running uh, fast and efficient, get the news out, and there'll be opportunities after we're done in this room uh, with the media, talking with everybody who's here. Uh, but I know we have some very important folks uh, that are present uh, for this big announcement today. Uh, my background, obviously, I've had a great relationship with Simmons Bank. Uh, because of Simmons Bank, we have built one of the best touchdown clubs in America. Seriously. Uh, just to give you an example, Peyton Manning will be here Tuesday. Uh, moved the venue from 600 to, to a 1,300-seat venue, still sold out in five hours. Uh, and it took Simmons Bank and their support, support and belief in our touchdown club to raise it up to where now here Paul Feinbaum and, and uh, the, you know, Peyton Manning and, and all some of the greats, you know, T Terry Bradshaw saying this touchdown club is the best in America. And it's because of Simmons Bank. And you look around this region, see all the things that are happening because of Simmons Bank. So I can't thank George and everybody at Simmons enough and uh, excited about this announcement. Of course, the governor being, the governor being here, you know it's a big deal. I know the governor loves sports. I'm very proud to say that the governor's been a member of the Touchdown Club. We're come to the, you've come to the Touchdown Club like three years in a row. But for the first time ever, the governor actually went on the computer, went to the Little Rock Touchdown Club website, and signed up online. <laughs> so I say, any other state in America, tell me you've got a Touchdown Club. You've got a governor that signed up for, uh, to be a member of the Touchdown Club. Off, off work hours, of course, right? Not during work hours. Uh, uh, <laughs> But she, uh, she loves sports. It was there for Sam Pittman's meeting last week. And uh, so I uh, love when you bring everybody together. I think we all know that's how you win. You win with bringing great people together with great vision uh, and hard workers. And uh, that's what we have here today. So we've got several guests on stage. Uh, Miller Brady, who I'll announce here in just a second. George Macris, and I mentioned Governor Sanders. And then we have three great golfers here today. And so we're going to get everybody a chance to say a few words uh, and then we'll dismiss and have some opportunities to the outside. So uh, first up, I found out that uh, Miller Brady is from, uh, from Atlanta, born and raised. And that's where I used to go when I was a kid in Panama City to, to see the Braves play. And I was looking, and I think all together, uh, you've done PGA Tour business for right at 25 years. Just, just, about 25. just about 25 years. And uh, obviously, you've been head president of the PGA Tour champions for the last four. Uh, but he's here to start things off. So let's please give a big welcome to Miller Brady, the president of the PGA Tour champions. Thank you, David. Uh, you don't have to play golf to love golf. Just, you know, remember that, <laughs> and, um, everyone. So good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Governor. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're thrilled. We're very excited. Um, you know, we have a couple of our players here that, that you mentioned before, Ken Duke, uh, Glenn Day, who were both instrumental in us being here, along with Jennifer Day. Uh, big passion for this community. Um, big passion for bringing professional golf to this community. Also like to recognize an ambassador for Simmons Bank, Will Zalatoris. Will, thank you for being here as well. Simmons Bank has had a long passion for golf and a long passion for their community. They sponsor the Simmons Bank Open on the Corn Ferry Tour, which is in Nashville, and they wanted to add to their portfolio, but they wanted to add to their portfolio here in their hometown of Little Rock. Between our players, ProLink Sports, and the tour, we've probably been working on this opportunity for 10 plus years. Believe that or not, at least 10 years. Is that not right, Ken? So for us to find the right opportunity, the discussions with George and his team, it took a while, but the right opportunity came about. So I'm thrilled today, which you see the logo, to announce the Simmons Bank Championship to be played at Pleasant Valley Country Club in October of 2024. This event with George and Simmons Bank is a five-year partnership. We expect it to be much longer, but initially five years. It's going to have an economic impact and charity impact here in Little Rock. It's a crucial event on our schedule as it's the second playoff event, which leads and qualifies our players for the Schwab Cup Championship. What that means is that if they're qualified for this event, they're going to be here. Our players are going to be here to support the community and to be in Little Rock playing professional golf at Pleasant Valley. I would like to thank George Macris, everyone at Simmons Bank, as well as Pleasant Valley, the board at Pleasant Valley, for their partnership. I'd also like to thank the governor and the state of Arkansas for being involved in this event.
Before, uh, before I recognize George and have him say a few words, I'd like to share a video that gives you a little bit more flavor of the Champions Tour. Oh, he's starting to feel it now. Just in the zone. What a putt. Puts a stranglehold on the Charles Schwab Cup standings. And another one. 63-year-old Fred Couples just shot a 12 under 60. Are you kidding me? Seriously? You got to be kidding me. Number 44 for Bernhard Langer. Jerry Kelly. Let him in. It's Jidey's breakthrough here in Madison. Stricker buries it. Harrington holds him off. Good gracious. We're just having a blast. The who's who of golf is out here playing. Oh! How many sports you get to go out there and literally play with the guys while they're playing? I've met a lot of great people in pro ams and even got some business deals out of it. My mentality in the pro ams are make sure that my amateur partners, whoever I play with, is that they have a great time. Nice birdie. That's a four, isn't it? So as you can see, we like to have fun on our tour, but also make a great impact in the communities where we play. This event is going to be managed by ProLink Sports, and I would like to recognize Ken Kennerly as the executive director and Mike Harrison as our tournament director. Uh, Mike is an individual you're all going to get to know very well. He's going to move here, live here, um, live and breathe the event every single day to make it as exciting and as big as possible because it doesn't take just Simmons and the state to make this a big tournament. It takes the entire community, so we're going to want you to get behind it and rally behind the tournament. Uh, with that, I would like to invite the Executive Chairman of Simmons Bank, George Macris, up. Thank you, George. Well, thanks, Miller, and good morning. This is a great day for me because uh, we can finally talk about this event. I told some guys I've, I've turned down some opportunities to play golf because I didn't trust myself that I, I wouldn't say something while we were out there playing. Uh, but Miller, I want to thank you and your team for all you've done to make this event a reality. I know that we have talked about this for some time. Uh, Ken and Mike, uh, we welcome Pro League Sports to Little Rock and look forward to a, a long relationship with you and to the directors of Pleasant Valley Country Club who have been so gracious uh, to offer their venue for this event, thank you very much. It is a tough job to convince uh, a membership to give up their facility for a week uh, right after uh, a brand new renovation of the entire clubhouse, but the timing couldn't be better. And Jason, thanks to you and Michael to you for your leadership. And we look forward to working with you. Two years ago, I was walking through a dining area at the Ascension Classic a Champions Tour event in St. Louis, and I, I don't know whether it was a mistake, but I sat down with Glenn Day. Uh, and as we talked, uh, Glenn must have seen a sign on my head that said, Sucker. Glenn said, uh, George, you know, I think we ought to have a Champions Tour event in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I didn't say no, so immediately after that, he sick Miller on us, and here we are today. 
Well, we've been planning this commitment for some time, and that's given us the opportunity to reflect on the potential of this event to be much more than just a professional golf tournament. In addition to the obvious benefits to the sponsors of brand association with the PGA, we'll have a chance to highlight our state and specifically Central Arkansas and all it has to offer. We've experienced the greatest success with the Simmons Bank Open in Nashville. Last year, that tournament was voted Tournament of the Year on the Corn Ferry Tour. We know what that tournament means to Middle Tennessee and to golf in that state. We think the Simmons Bank Championship can be more. We don't have to compete with pro football, pro hockey, a booming music industry. In fact, this tournament has the potential to be all of that for Arkansas. We're only limited by our imagination. And while we believe the economic benefits of the state will be huge, the real purpose of the tournament is to offer support to charitable organizations across our state. We have formed the Arkansas Champions Trust, which will dis distribute net revenue from the tournament to worthy organizations each year. Our goals are very high, and the impact we can have on those organizations will be significant. We're looking forward to working with our partners on this event, the PGA Tour Champions, ProLink Sports, Pleasant Valley Country Club, and many, many volunteers. The experience of this team, the enthusiasm of the volunteers, and the quality of the venue will make this tournament very special. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce some special Simmons Bank ambassadors. We're very proud to partner with Glenn Day and Ken Duke on the PGA Tour champions. Both of them were introduced earlier. Ken secured his first champions win two weeks ago and couldn't have been more timely. Ken, we appreciate that very much. <laughs> Glenn and Ken have deep roots in Arkansas and we're looking forward to working with them to make this Simmons Bank Championship a remarkable event, uh, especially for the players. Also with us today is a young man who skyrocketed to elite status on the PGA Tour, Will Zalatoris. Will, thanks for being here today. In addition to his status as one of the world's best golfers, his leadership has been recognized by his peers on the tour, and that's something that we're most proud of for Will. Now, Will will be eligible for this event in 23 years. <laughs> So Miller, I know we only, I know we only, yeah, I know we only have a, we only have a five-year commitment today, but, but we are looking forward to hosting you here in 23 years. <laughs> We're also honored that our Governor Sarah Sanders and First Gentleman Brian Sanders, here are with us today, along with several other state and local leaders. And our pledge to you is that we will do everything we can, to help you grow our state and its communities. So thanks to all of you for joining us today on this special occasion. And now I'd like to turn the podium over to our governor and my friend, Sarah Sanders. Thank you, Thank you so much. It is uh, wonderful to be here, uh, mostly because anytime George Macris asks you to do something, the answer is an automatic yes. <laughs> And I know that anytime Simmons puts their name on something, and especially if George is right there in the middle of it, it is gonna be done to absolute perfection. There is nothing they do, there is nothing they engage in that isn't at the very highest level. And so while we are super excited to have you here and the PGA invest here and see what all of us already know about Arkansas, we're pretty biased in thinking that you guys are the lucky ones because you get to work alongside Simmons and George Macris and get to experience our amazing state. I get to tell people all the time that the best job I have as governor is to be the chief salesperson for Arkansas. And it's pretty incredible when you have the best state in the country to go out and talk about. And this is one more thing that gives us another advantage, another thing to sing about what is happening here in the state. One of the things that we've worked pretty tirelessly on, my husband Brian and I, over the last eight months since taking office, is really elevating Arkansas's natural state and helping people to understand all that we have to offer in this space. We wanna grow our outdoor economy, and events like this that have a $15 million impact are exactly the type of thing that we're looking to bring and highlight here. Because not only does it help people here in Arkansas see what we have to offer, 
So many people from around the world will be tuned in to that event, and they will get to see the amazing things going on right here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I'm very excited about that. David, I'm kind of like you. I'm not much of a golfer, but I think I'm a pretty good <laughs> cart operator. So if you need some help, I'm going to go ahead and volunteer my services. Uh, but we could not be more excited about what this means for the state, what this means for Little Rock, and the partnership that we know will be ongoing for many, many years to come. And we look forward to hosting you in that tournament uh, here in about 23 years. So <laughs> thank you so much for what you're doing here, uh, the investment that you make, not just in this event, but frankly, the investment that Simmons makes in Arkansas every single day. Thank you all so much. I think what we'll do at this time and go